<laughs> Good luck. Well, everyone, thank you for being with us. We are uh, enjoying our chapel beasts. Uh, Jacqueline has Jesse the cat who always comes when we are, are zooming our services. And of course, we have our beloved Monty who is off camera, but uh, every once in a while he'll offer a woof or two. We also have Tippy in the other room, but she she abstains from uh, gathered religion. She's she is sufficient unto herself. We're honored to have you with us. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. We do the daily office Monday through Thursday morning and evening prayer, of course, as well. If you'd like to visit our uh, playlists, we have noonday prayers in French, Spanish and English, as well as Compline the night prayers of the church offered in the same three languages. Honored to have you with us. If you are watching on Facebook, uh, please follow us, get the notifications of when we're live in the same way that someone watching on YouTube will get the notifications if we have posted content. And of course, know that we are always happy to welcome you home to St. Peter's. It is now time for evening prayer as we close the day. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. A portion of Psalm 119 this evening, I will offer the odd. Please respond with the even. I have done what is just and right. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Guarantee your servant's well-being. Your servant's well -being. The godless oppress me. The godless oppress me. My eyes fail from watching for your salvation and for the fulfillment of your righteous promise. Deal with your Deal servant with your according to your steadfast love. Teach me your statutes. statutes. I am your servant. Give me understanding so that I may know your decrees. This time the Lord has been broken. Your law has been broken. Truly, I love your commandments more than gold, more than fine gold. Truly, I trick my step I by my decrees, by all your every, every false way, every false way. Your decrees are wonderful, and therefore my soul keeps them. The unfolding of your words gives light. It light. imparts understanding to the simple. With open mouth, I pant because I long for your commandments. And be gracious to me as it's your custom towards those who love your name. Those who love your name. Keep my steps steady according to your promise, and never let iniquity have dominion over me. Redeem me from human oppression that I may keep your precepts. Make your face shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. My eyes shed streams of tears because your law is not kept. Law is not kept. You are righteous, O Lord, and your judgments are right. And you have appointed your decrees in righteousness and in all your faithfulness. My zeal consumes me because my foes forget your words. Your promise is well tried and your servant loves it. Loves it. I am small and despised, yet I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and your law is the truth. Truth. Trouble and anguish have come upon me, 
but your commandments are my delight. Your decrees are righteous forever. Give me understanding that I may live. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now during those days when the disciples were increasing in number, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution of food. And the twelve called together the whole community of the disciples and said, it is not right that we should neglect the word of God in order to wait on tables. Therefore, friends, select from among yourselves seven, good, seven men of good standing, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we may appoint to this task, while we, for our part, will devote ourselves to prayer and to serving the word. But they said, please the whole community, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith in the Holy Spirit, together with Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parnamus, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. They had these men stand before the apostles who prayed and laid their hands on them. The word of God continued to spread. The number of the disciples increased greatly in Jerusalem, and a great many of the priests became obedient to the faith. Stephen, full of grace and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Then some of those who belonged to the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, Cyrenians, Alexandrians, and others of those from Cilicia and Asia, stood up and argued with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they secretly instigated some men to say, we have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people as well as the elders and the scribes. Then they suddenly confronted him, seized him, and brought him before the council. They set up false witnesses who said this man never stopped saying things against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and will change the customs that Moses handed on to us. And all who sat in the council looked intently at him. And they saw that his face was like the face of an angel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this evening is the Song of Mary. Together, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Matthew. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, you also go into the vineyard and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again about noon, about three o'clock, he did the same. And about five o'clock, he went out and others standing around. And he said to them, are you standing around here idle all day? They said to him, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and going to the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against this landowner saying, these last worked only one hour and you have made them equal to us who have been borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. They replied to one of them, friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage that what belongs to you and I go? I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. 
I am not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me. Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be and the first will be last. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, the Song of Simeon. Together, Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, and he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O Lord, make us have perpetual love and reverence for your holy name. For you never fail to help and govern those whom you have set upon the sure foundation of your loving kindness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your son, our savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O oh God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And by your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. We pray for safe travel for Ed as he makes his journey down to Savannah, South Carolina. I'm sorry. Pray for all those who travel. Pray for those who are having treatments for cancer, for any other disease of heart, body, body mind, or soul. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we your unworthy servants give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, 
for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Please, Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to Thanks God. Be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Well, everyone, thank you for joining us. Uh, please uh, stay tuned and tune in tomorrow for morning prayer and evening prayer, as well as uh, Rector's vlog and an update on the parish life. Please do as well. Keep your eyes on your inbox and you'll get the e-news uh, and let, you'll know what's happening on the life of Christ as we move into the waning days of June, the opening days of summer, and continue on through the journey after Pentecost. Jacqueline and Allison and yes. I forgot, Jesse. Jessie has given us full face today. That's wonderful. She's decided to grace us with her, her uh, angelic presence. Please know that we've been happy to have you with us. Like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and of course, follow us on Facebook. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye now. <laughs>